It is important for data engineers because it allows for effective version control which helps to track changes in scripts and data pipelines. It enhances collaboration by enabling multiple team members to work on the same code base without conflicts. The history tracking feature maintains a clear record of modifications which provides transparency. In addition to that, branching allows for safe experimentation with new, with new features or fixes. Finally, Git integrates uh, well with CI/CD tools, streaming deployment, and ensuring uh, code quality. Here is my first command: git init. The git init command in your first step in in, in creating a new Git repository. It sets up all the necessary files and directories that git needs to start tracking in your project changes think of it as as settings the foundation for your version control system here uh, repository name is the name you want to give it to your new project folder if you don't specify a name it initializes the repo in your current directory here you can see git in at my project this command sets up this command sets up as a git repository now you are ready to start adding files and tracking changes then second command is git clone the git clone command is used to create a local copy of an existing git repository from a repo, uh, remote server this is uh, super handy for collaborating on projects because it pulls down all the files commit history and branches which allowing you to work on the work on them locally here you can replace uh, repository url with the uh, actual url then you can use this command git clone uh, your actual repository url where you can get it from github or gitlab Git status. The purpose of this command is uh, a quick health check for uh, your git repository. It shows you the current state of your working directory and uh, staging area, which let you know which files are staged for next commit, which are modified but not staged and which are untracked. When you run this command, git provides summary that includes, includes uh, stage changes say like a file ready to commit unstaged uh, changes and untracked file this is the use of git status command and coming to git next command is git add the main purpose of this command is used to stage changes in your working directory for the next commit staging is an essential step in the git workflow why because it allows you to select which changes you want to include in your next commit which helps you to keep your commit history clean and organized. Here you can use this command as git add and file name. Then coming to next command, this is git commit. The git commit command is used to record the changes you have staged with git add into the repository history. This is a crucial step in con version control. As it creates a snapshot of your project state at specific point in time. Here you can see iPhone M flag, which allows you to add descriptive message that summarizes the changes made in this commit. If you want to use this command, you can use git commit iPhone M and you can put your message. This message make it clear to anyone what was done in the commit then next command is git git push the git push command uploads your local commits to remote repository this is essential for sharing your changes with collaborators and ensuring that the central code base is updated with your latest work if you want to push your changes from your from your local main branch to remote repository this command sends your local commits to the main branch on the remote named origin 
which making your updates accessible to others working on the project then git pull command this command is used to fetch changes from rem remote repository and merge them into your current branch this is essential for keeping your local branch up to date with the latest changes made by the others in your team if you want to update your local main branch with the latest changes from the remote repository this command fetches the latest commits from the main branch on the remote named origin and merges them into your current branch which ensures you have the most up to date code 